Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. Hey, the last episode I went over was covering how to import media. And uh, what I've done is I've imported a whole bunch of media. And on this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to organize this media. I'm not going to get into a big professional media organizing uh, workflow, which I will do at, at a later stage. But these are just kind of the basis, basics of organizing your media. Because right now, what I want to do, first of all, whenever I'm organizing media, I always like to go under the assembly mode. And you do that by going up to this little item up here in the top right-hand corner to workspaces. Click on that and arrange for assembly. Assembly clears up uh, the space, gives you, it shares the, pr uh, the program and the source monitor up here, so it gives you more room for your media here to operate under. And in fact, one thing I like to do when I uh, hover over the media here is hit the tilde key. Hit the tilde key over my project window, and it will bring this to full screen here. Now, up at the top here, when you're organizing media, you can arrange things by a, a variety of different things here. You've got uh, frame rate, you've got uh, by name, you've got by... Um, uh, just a whole bunch of different metadata here that you can arrange the media by. I usually select name, especially if you're using like like uh, with this footage here. Uh, the red camera have it has its own uh, naming system, and then I've got some like magic footage, uh, some Sony footage, a whole bunch of different footage, some drone footage brought into this, and some sound brought into this into this project. I imported a whole bunch of different types of media very intentionally to do this. But if I arrange by name, since red has its name and black magic has its name, it's got it, uh, it keeps everything arranged in in alphabetical order in their kind of relative camera uh, sections here. So right now I'm arranged by name, and if you click on this again, by the way, it'll it will reverse the order from Z to A rather than from A through Z. And this is also alphanumerical, so it does numbers first and then it goes in the alphabet as well. So I'm going to have my arrow pointing up like that. That now it's organizing from the top to the bottom, A through Z. So I see oftentimes people that are just getting into editing where they import a whole bunch of media and they just have a huge list of media like this and then they have to go through it over and over again to try to find what they're doing. One thing you can do also here is we've got two different views here. We've got uh, down here at the bottom left-hand corner, we've, we have list view and we have icon view. Right now this is under list view. Let's show you icon view. Okay, so this is icon view. And icon view, what the way it arranges is from left to right, and then it moves uh, down in a single row, and then it moves down to the next row and goes left to right, then down here to left and right, and that's the order that it uh, sorts these in. You notice that it did this, that the names as I go to list view here is arranged by alphabetical, but when I go here, it's uh, it's a, it does not start in alphabetical order. And, and I wish Premiere would change this to the default, but, but it's not. You have to go under sort icons and tell it, right now it's under user order. The drone footage was the first thing I imported, so that was ones that I used, or that I used first. So that is the way it's arranging these things. I don't like that view. I, I like to go under sort icons and tell it to use the list view sort. So that means whatever order I have selected on list view, it'll use that it will use that style to sort your media here as well under icon view. So I'm going to pull this little uh, tab down here under sort icons and tell it to list view sort. So it'll do it by the, by your list view the way you've got that sorted which is alphanumerical right now. So I'm going to select that and now everything is arranged based on my list view sort type. Now down here at the bottom, you also have this little slider here. You can adjust the size of your thumbnails, make them large, make them smaller, depending on your preference. They also do have another one down here called Freeform View that basically lets you just drag everything around wherever you want it. So if we turn this down, the size down here, you can grab these things and kind of you can kind of drag these things around and position them in groups and do your own little arrangement here. I find that I hardly use this view at all, but if you go away from that and come back, it's going to keep the, the way you were sorting things. So if you're sorting them in groups like that and you have this thing all laid out and mapped the way you want it to be, then that, that's fine. But yeah, like I said, I, I, I don't like this view very much, but some people do. So I'm going to go under icon view and we're going to start organizing this media. So first of all, down here at the bottom right hand corner of this window, right now, what, keep in mind that I'm in tilde full screen here. If I hit tilde again, it goes back to normal. So I'm going to hit tilde so I can see all the media. I like it big and large like this when I start sorting media. But I'm going to grab all this uh, camera footage. Uh, that's I'm going to organize this into uh, footage shot by cameras here. And all this footage from here all the way down to here. This is the last one was shot on, oops all the way down to right here. That's the last one. That was all shot on the red camera. So I'm going to hold down uh, Shift. By the way, you can hold down Command or Control on a PC and you can select individual clips like this. Uh, or, but I'm going to select this top one here. I'm going to hold down Shift and it will select everything in between. Shift and click on this one and it selects everything from left to right down to the next row, left to right down to the next row and all that media there that was shot on the red camera is selected. 
If you want to create a folder, the easiest way to do that, you can go down here and just click on this and create a folder if you want to. They call them bins. That's a film term for organizing uh, your film. Back when they shot on film, they would literally do it in these big canvas bins. But uh, an easy way to do that, rather than click on new bin here. So I'm going to grab one of these icons. I'm going to drag it down. And it makes that little fist there to show that it's got a hold of it right now. I'm going to hover over this bin right here, and I'm going to let go. And it puts all that media in its own folder. And it's going to ask me what I want to name that folder. I can just call this red footage. Now, if you don't like the thumbnail view, you can do this in list view as well. I'm going to go into under list view and show you here. So scroll all the way to the bottom. There's my red footage folder that's been created. If you arrow that down, notice it's got all the, it contains all the red media. So let's do this for another camera. Let's go to this black magic. Let's go to this black magic footage here. Select the top one, hold down shift, click on the bottom one, drag and drop this. Like I said, you can do this either in icon mode or in list view. And I'm gonna hover over the folder, drop it, and it's gonna say what do you, it's gonna have it highlighted already. Say what do you want to call this? I'll just call this black magic footage. Arrow that down to collapse it. And this is my Sony footage, so I'm gonna do the same. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I get all my footage organized. Grab my drone footage. We're going to call this, put this in a folder, call it drone. And now I'm going to grab all my audio here. See, now look at this. There's a little separation here where I can't grab all the, the files down here without individually holding down command and selecting these individually. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just grab these ones first and drop it into a folder, into a bin here. Put, put it into that bin. We'll just call this sound. If I wanted to grab the rest of the sound files and drop into that folder, it's pretty easy. I've already created a folder, so I can just select all these. Let's scroll up. I'm going to grab that, drag it, hover over, highlight the sound folder, and let go, and it just dumped all that uh, sound into that folder. Now look at this. Doesn't this look a ton better than it looked before with just the huge list of just a ton of different media? Now we've got some organization here. And you can easily go into each folder and create new folders. Now, uh, keep in mind, since we're in list view, I usually like my project uh, window in list view normally. Uh, but let's say I want to go into these folders and create another folder and do some organization within this folder. One way you can do that is you can arrow down like this. This is kind of a difficult view on, on doing that. Uh, you'd so the best way to do that is to simply double click on a folder. So let's double click on the drone folder. And what it does is it opens it up in a separate tab. Up here you'll notice I've got this project colon timelines, that's the name of my project here. And then I've got next to it this bin now, that is a bin tab. So I've got these different tabs and I opened up uh, this tab here and it has the footage that's contained in that folder. I'm gonna right click on this and we're gonna say close panel for now. I go back to my project window, but there is all the media right there. Each one of these folders has its own media in it. But let's start doing a folder with it. Let's start doing folders within folder. Double click on this bin here. It will open it up. And now I'm going to go under icon view. Let's make sure that this is under list uh, view sort. It is. Uh, but let's say I've got all this footage of a house and then all this footage of highlighting. I'm going to put those in two different folders here. So I'm going to select the first one, hold down shift and select the final one over here that's in, in these neighborhoods. And I'm going to grab that and drag it and drop it into a folder. And we'll call this homes. Because that's under the drone footage homes there. So now I'm going to select the rest of my highlighting footage. Select all this. Drag it over a folder. Drop it and call this highlighting. Now if I want to close this tab, I can leave this open if I want to. But if I want to close this tab, you can either, you can click on this thing here or right click either way either uh, left click or right click and you can close panel an easy way of doing this is when you're in this tab here and you want to close you can hit command w or control w command w on a mac control w on a pc and it closes that window and now i can go back to my project window here and if i arrow this open now now you can see i've got two folders one with my highlighting media and one with my homes media and one more thing I really like, and this is just my preference. Like I said, I like my project window in list view, but I happen to like my uh, individual folders as I open them up in different tabs. I like those to be in, in icon view. So as I double click on this drone folder here and it opens this up, let's say I want to go to the highlighting one here. I'm going to double click on that and it opens it up. So notice it kept both those bins open. I've got this one. So I can close that one, command W, because I just want my highlighting folder open. And I've, I've got this one in icon view, not list view. I, I You can have it in list view, but I really I like these in list view and I like to have it on list view sort and then I can increase the size of my thumbnails and then I can start editing on these things. You can have as many of these tabs open as you want. So if I wanted to have one open for each one of these, double click on it, go back to my project window, double click on that one, go back to my project window and I can open up each one of these. And then if they're not, and now, now notice I've got a whole bunch of these tabs open. Let's, let's hit tilde over this, make it full screen. And you can see all the tabs that I have open for all these individual types of media. So now I can go into each one of these, go into icon view, icon view, and so on. So now as I tab through these here, 
change the size. So now as I go through each tab here, I can go into each one and check out my media for each tab there. And But that is my main project window right there, which contains all of my media and all of this organization that I've done. Well, thanks for watching. And the next episode, I'm going to be covering uh, how to rename your footage inside of Premiere Pro.